Thank you so much, Harry. Hi, everybody. Welcome to today's conference. Today we want to talk about the 2018 CPT change for orthopedics. Um, I also have, uh, let's take a look at the agenda here, uh, and then we can, uh, there we go. Um, we want to talk about the new CPT codes for orthopedics for 2018. We then want to talk about some revisions to the CPT codes. I then want to point out some deleted codes that we uh, won't discuss uh, in the newer revised sections. I did add to this the ICD-10 code changes for orthopedics, and then I want to talk about some miscellaneous policies and trends. I also have, um, which I did not have when I submitted the presentation, the changes in the NCCI policy manual for 2018 that are related to orthopedics or podiatry. I know a lot of you that have um, are in the orthopedic practice usually have a podiatrist in the practice also, or you may also have a um, orthopedic surgeon that subspecializes in uh, foot and ankle and they may do podiatry services also. So we'll talk about that stuff. Um, towards the end of the presentation, I've got three points uh, to give you related to that. When you look at the actual CPT changes and the ICD-10 changes for 2018, there really aren't a lot, but there are some really important things that have changed that are going to affect the way we do things. And so we want to make sure that we're well aware of all of those. So let's go ahead and get started on what's actually changing and um, the new codes. So the first code that we have um, that is new for 2018 is 20939. Now 20939 is going to be when you are doing a bone aspiration for bone grafting for spine surgery. And this is if, in fact, you are performing this aspiration through a separate skin or facial incision than where you're performing the spine surgery. As you know, it is for spine surgery only. It is replacing the 38220, which you may be reporting right now. And again, it has to be through a separate incision, and it cannot be used for platelet-rich plasma, uh, which still falls under the 0232T. Now, the thing about this code is, with this change and the addition of the code, they've also changed 38220 and 38221 to now say diagnostic. So if your providers are performing bone marrow aspirations for something other than spine surgery, they can't use that 38220 or 38221 anymore because it is specifically for diagnostic testing. So you're going to have to go to an unlisted code now if, in fact, they're performing aspirations for anything other than spine. Um, so that's a really important thing to take a look at. You'll no longer be able to report 38220. Um, all right, so the next thing is a revision. And I left it here because it also has to do with spine surgery coding. Now, there is a parenthetical now above the code 63075, 63101, and 63300, and it talks about the amount of vertebra that's removed, and, def and it defines what is a partial or what is a partial corpectomy. And what it says in that parenthetical is that when we're talking about cervical, in order for it to be a corpectomy, at least one half of the actual vertebra has to be removed. On the thoracic or lumbar side, it has to be at least one-third. 
So what we are going to need to educate the providers on that are documenting the operative reports, they're going to have to begin to identify how much of the vertebra was actually uh, removed. Now this is going to be an important because otherwise you're going to run into problems where they are going to bundle corpectomies into certain other procedures. Um, I have some personal uh, experience with this because I myself had a corpectomy, complete corpectomy uh, back in August and um, the insurance company uh, I had a uh, discectomy at two levels and a complete corpectomy at a third level, and they're de denying the corpectomy uh, and should be paying it because in my circumstance, it was totally removed. So um, it's going to be important to understand, uh, if you look in the CPT professional book um, and and you look on page 407, it's actually those guidelines are listed twice on that page, and it is in green. Um, and so when you are having problems with an insurance carrier uh, covering these, you're going to, you know, want to be able to show them, uh, and then it is also on page 409. Um, you can actually just copy this page and show them as long as your provider has documented how much of the vertebra was removed. So it's going to be really important that they start documenting that. All right.